Hey everyone, welcome to day 25. We are now officially six months to the date for Christmas. So I know that that's a harsh reality at this point because um, hopefully you know that the, the work that you're putting in today, the effects of that work is three months down the road. So we often talk about in Sensi about planting seeds and the day that you plant the seed is not the day that you have the harvest, right? So um, the work that you're doing today, the stuff you're learning right now, the things that you are implementing, you're not going to see an immediate result. It's important for me to give you that little reality check that um, if you talk to somebody about recruiting today, you're not probably going to get a recruit today. OK, um, on average, you're going to need to speak to 10 people about doing Sensi with you before one of them decides to join. That's normal. OK, we have to stop thinking that, um, you know, if I just if I ask 10 people, I'm going to get 10 new people join. Nope, that's not how it goes. On average, you are going to ask 10 people to host and you're going to get one person to actually host. You're going to talk to 10 people about doing Sensi with you. And you're going to have one person sign up with you. OK, so let's just set some expectations here as far as recruiting, because hopefully yesterday you um, had a chance to really evaluate, do that two page workbook worksheet that I gave you um, on what are the you know attributes of leadership and what's important to you and what what is holding you back from being a leader and what scares you about being a leader and what excites you about being a leader. Now, I do want to remind you, and this is something that Mel Robbins talks about. Um, she's like an amazing um, author and speaker, and she talks about motivation. And one of the things that she um, did to kind of like have awareness around nervousness or being scared is that typically it actually holds the same attributes as being excited. So if you think about the last time that you were nervous or scared, and it might have been yesterday when you're filling out that information, like you started thinking like, what scares me? And you actually had a physical body reaction to that fear. OK, I want to start out by saying we all have fears. We all have fears of some kind. And most people have fears of um, death and public speaking. OK, I am terrified of public speaking, but it's something that I do because I know that it's good for me. And I have learned over the years that I have value to add. And if I don't share, even when I'm scared, then I could be missing out on speaking to the one person who really needs to hear from me that day. So I want you to think about the last time you were scared. What happened in your body? You might have had flutter in your stomach. You might have had a rapid heartbeat. Um, that kind of thing. Okay. Nervous palms, like who knows, right? Whatever you had when you were feeling a little bit afraid, when you wrote down what scares you about being a leader. Um, I want you to think about the same emotion that came up when you're excited about something, you get butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> it's the same reaction. So the next time that you are feeling nervous or scared, I want you to tell yourself that you're actually very excited and your body, your brain will believe what you tell it. Okay. This is why going back to the very beginning, when we talked about mindset, your mindset is so critical to your success. Okay. Um, I'm part of a, a leadership group that we do. Um, it's for directors and above. We do work Wednesdays. If you are a director and above and you're not already participating in our work Wednesdays, please um, let me know and I will add you to the work Wednesday um, Zoom call. It's just where we get on and we share what we're working on. We help each other with any stumbling blocks. We encourage each other um, and we just have that accountability because being a leader and doing Sensi full time is actually quite lonely. OK, because you're working by yourself, you don't have colleagues, you're not going into a regular office um, where somebody is going to give you some, um, you know, helps or tips or tricks or whatever. And um, so we just designed Work Wednesday to be something that we get together and we collaborate. And it's basically a virtual um, cubicle, if you will. We do it over Zoom every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Uh, mountain time. Side tag tangent. Um, anyways. Oh, now I've completely lost track of what I was going to say. <laughs> See, anyone can do Sensi. <laughs> um, anyway, so I wanted to talk to you today about um, where you want to be. So turn, change your mindset into thinking that you're terrified and tell yourself you're excited. Okay, so like, let's get into that mindset. Oh, what I was going to say was um, there's somebody on there and she uh, she talks poorly to herself. 
Um, and the rest of us, we would never speak that way to her. And she would never speak that way to anyone else but she speaks poorly to herself. And it's really critical that you do not do that. So it might be something that you need to write down. Um, and it's uh, studies have shown, um, scientific, scientific studies have shown that um, the thing that you say to yourself right before you fall asleep and the thing that you think first thing in the morning, um, if those are negative, you're gonna have a bad day and your a bad day will lead to a bad week and a bad month and a bad year and about life. So it's really important that what you tell yourself about yourself, your brain will believe you. So if you are currently wanting to promote to director by September 30th, um, then you need to tell yourself before you fall asleep at night, you need to tell your brain that you're going to be an amazing director in September. And the first thing when you wake up, you need to tell yourself, or the first thing when you get in your office, is you need to tell yourself that you're going to be a director, an awesome director in December. All right, sorry, in September. Um, we do not wait for December for promotions. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but what you tell yourself matters. So if you say to yourself, well, I'm just terrible at recruiting. Well, guess what? <laughs> you're going to be terrible at recruiting because your brain believes what you tell it. If you tell your brain that you can't get sales, you're not going to get any sales. That is the reality of it. If you tell yourself uh, nobody wants to host a party, no one's going to host a party. But if you change your mindset and you start thinking, the next person I speak to might be somebody who joins my team. The next person I speak to might want to place a Sensi order, right? But if you don't show up, they won't be there to talk to you, okay? So you have to show up and you have to tell yourself that good things are gonna happen. Um, now, I do tell my team uh, when I have people who are working through leadership with me and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with them and that sort of thing, we talk a lot about mindset. And I will tell my team that I believe in them. And sometimes it means I believe in them for them until they can believe in themselves. Because what I have to share with you is that you can be a superstar director. There is nobody that will ever listen to this training who can't do it. I will tell you that being in network marketing, being a part of the Sensi family, there is not a set limit of how many people can hold any title. If you want to be a superstar director one day, and we talked about this with the comp plan. I've dropped the income disclosure in the description below and there are printables today. So make sure you check them. Um, but if you want to be earning averages of $10,000 paychecks, you, you need to become a superstar director. And I believe that you can do it. And why do I believe that? Because if I can do it, anyone can. If you're willing to do the work. If you want to just hope for it and not work for it, it's always going to be a wish, okay? You have to actually decide today that you are worthy, that you can do it, that you are willing to do what it's going to take to get there, and you don't give up. Every day of being a sensi leader is not giving up. You have to just tell yourself that the reason that you're doing this is much more important than not doing it. Do I want to do follow-up calls every day? No, never. There has not been a single day in my Sensi career that I have wanted to do follow-ups. Not one. Do I do them? Yes. There is not one day that I feel, feel confident to do a video like I'm doing right now. Not one day. There's not one day that I show up on Instagram stories that I feel that I'm going to be amazing at this and I'm going to rock it. Nope, never. I have yet to feel that, but I have to work through the fear and I have to tell myself that in order for me to continue to make an impact in the Sensi community, in order for me to continue to be paid at my title, I want to be paid as a superstar director. I don't want to have the title and then not get paid at it. Right. In order for me to get what I want, I have to do things that scare me. 
plain and simple, almost 12 years in, and I have never felt like doing it. I'm disciplined. And I want you to know that being disciplined is actually a form of self-love. If you are not disciplined in your life, that is not, that is basically hating yourself. You have to love yourself enough to do what you have to do in order to get to where you have to be. If you could commit that you are going to earn a thousand dollars every single month with your Sensi business, I want you to think about what bills will you pay with your Sensi money? Does that mean you're going to pay for the car payments? Does that mean you're going to pay the rent or the mortgage? Does that mean that you're going to pay for all of your kids' sporting activities? Does it mean that you're going to save for an annual trip for your family every single year? And that is what you're using your Sensi money for. I want you to think big. If you're currently earning $1,000 a month, I want you to think, what will you do with $5,000 a month? If you're currently earning $5,000 a month, I want you to think, what will I do if I'm earning $10,000 a month? There's no reason that I'm earning what I'm earning and you can't. Everybody can. You just have to be self-disciplined, show up and actually do the work. So I'm going to drop in the comment or sorry, I'm going to drop in the description box your printable for today. Your printable for today is going to be some goals that I want you to set. Now, you might be wondering, Jen, why didn't you do this on day one? Like, why are we doing this now? I think it's important for me to have set some um, basic guidelines for you. So you have to really be treating your business like a business and understand how to do that before your goals can really shift into something that is attainable for you. Because now you have the knowledge to understand Yes, I do have what it takes. I do know what I have to do. Now, am I willing to do the things to get where I want to be? And honestly, the goals that you might have had on July 1st, I am hoping, I am hopeful that they have increased and that you're willing to do scary things now that we are on day 25. Okay. So I'm going to um, upload uh, what. Uh, for you to print out, sorry, and to work through what title do you want to be at next month? And the month after that, and the month after that, and the month after that, and so on and so, so forth. I do want to remind you that with December here in Canada, typically, this is not an announcement or I have not seen an official communication about this, but typically here in Canada, our um, Christmas cutoff is December 10th. That is why you don't have a goal to promote in the month of December, because it is very hard to get your TWV and your GWV up to the levels that it needs to be to promote in 10 days. It's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's possible. But I'm trying to set you up to have the best success possible. Okay. Um, so you're going to fill out what you want to be and how is that going to make you feel? Does it mean you're going to do it scared? Does it mean you're going to feel successful? Does it mean that you're going to feel like you're contributing more to your family? Doesn't matter what it is. That's what you're going to do. You're going to fill in what, how it's going to make you feel. Um, and who is currently at that level that, you know, so if you are currently a lead consultant and you want to be a star consultant, who on your team is currently a star consultant? If you do not know the answer to that, that's okay. You're going to go to your team page and you're going to ask who in this group is a star consultant. And you're going to get people who will say that they are. And then you're going to ask one of them to mentor you. You're going to ask them to teach you everything that they know. Okay. I've told you before that with Sensi, when you know something, you teach it, right? Um, so that's what you're going to do. And you can do some online trainings. Um, go onto your workstation, find out what do I need to do. You're going to look at your action by title document. That's literally why I made it. Um, you're going to look at the action and you're going to say, okay, what do I have to do? What does this 
job entail. It's just like if you're working in a corporate office. I used to work in corporate. If I wanted a promotion, I needed to look at the job description. Was I willing to do that, what it takes to be in that position or not? Same thing, okay? Um, is your goal attainable? Is your timeline attainable? What are you willing to do to get there? Are you being realistic? Um, like I said, if you do the daily five and five, okay, you will promote. But if you're not willing to do this and you're not willing to commit to actually doing that one thing five days a week, then you're not going to get there. Okay. And the only person who you have, um, who is accountable to that is you. Did you know that unless you break a Sensi compliance rule that, and they cancel your account, the only one who can terminate you is you. And in that instance, you're terminating yourself anyways, because you're doing something out of compliance when you should know better. How do you know better? You're going to read the compliance guide. It's simple. You guys are business owners. You have to treat your business like a business. If I was going to go and open a shop, I would have to know all of the requirements of that shop. Okay. If you open a franchise, you need to understand what are the franchise rules. You don't just sweep in and do whatever you want. You have to follow a certain set of guidelines. It's the same thing. It, it might help you to think about your business as that you have a little sensey franchise, right? We don't call it that. And, and sensey wouldn't say that. But if that helps your mind to think about your business in that business mindset, you have to understand the rules and what you are representing, right? So anyways, um, I have these different uh, things for you to fill out. Um, I want you to take some time and do that. I know that we're not at the end of the month. So just as a reminder, we still have a few days. Um, you are not going to be doing follow-up calls on the last day of the month. That is icky. That is gross. You need to set out your goals now. We have talked about this all month, but if you're not where you need to be, it's time to get going. Don't be somebody who lets yourself down again. Be someone who is committed to their goals. You should have had a goal at the beginning of the month. What is, what is your July goal? Mine is 2000 PRV. Okay. That is my current goal. And I need to have two recruits this month. Um, I originally was going to do uh, four, but my world is upside down. So I had to be realistic. I had to drop it down Two recruits, 2000 PRV. So I still have a few days left of the month for me to get that. Um, and I am not giving up until I do. This is not the time for you to say, well, I, I didn't, I'm not getting it. I'm not doing it. Um, no, we don't say that until the workstation flips over to the following month. OK, so don't be someone who lets themselves down and don't be someone who's like, oh, it's OK, I'll do it next month. No, that is not going to be earning you more money doing your sensi business. You have to be someone who shows up for yourself because your why, your dreams, your paycheck depends on you being someone who is reliable to themselves, dependable to themselves, loyal to themselves and shows up for yourself. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I look forward to chatting with you tomorrow and have a great day.